All right, everyone. Let's get this party started. Welcome, everyone. This is episode 21 of Build With Me. I'm your host, Doc Williams, and tonight we're going to be using Clapboard. Now, Clapboard is a platform where you can be editing, making videos, uh, sending tutorials to your clients. There's so many different things you can do with this, uh, with this platform. And tonight we're going to be talking about how you can level up your business, make this from a, just a tool to a side hustle to a full business. And so we're going to go through all of that tonight. So come with me. All right, let's do this. Okay, like we said this before, um, this is episode 21. And what is the tool we're going to be using? The tool that we're going to be using is Clapboard. The idea tonight, how to become an expert with micro lessons. And we're going to start by using Clapboard clips to teach people a new skill or to teach them something about their business and what they need to do. And that's the whole purpose of this episode. Now, right now on AppSumo.com, they have clipboard available. It is a simple Google Chrome plugin to create great videos by recording your webcam or screen. Now, why is that so important? Why are we really focusing on this? Well, if you can do that and teach someone, number one, you can teach them a new skill. And we'll talk about a couple of things, what people are doing. Number two, if you're doing a audit of a website or something like that, you can do it very quickly with this tool. And uh, number three, uh, it allows you to build a rapport, teach your expertise, and then give them a call to action with just saying, hey, now that I've shown you, let me know if you want to jump on a call or let me know where you want to go from here. So many different things that you can do with this tool. So who is this for? I'm going to say excuse me, freelancers, um, marketers, and also uh, prospectors for leads. All of those different people can be using this. Um, right here, you're going to entry level skill. It's nothing crazy on this platform. And uh, we're going to get into what I would do with it as well. So let's get right into it. So clipboard is available, uh, appsumo.com slash clipboard. It's $39 lifetime right now. And we'll kind of talk about the features. Let's get right into what the, the website looks like. They've used some, you know, people from some big companies have used this Best Buy, Johnson and Johnson and all that kind of stuff. We're going to be talking about what this looks like on the inside and, um, just a couple things what this product can do. Let's drop down here. You can record, you can edit, and you can share different things. Um, you can draw on this, you can erase, you can do all of these different things, the teaching techniques on this platform. So we're going to be talking about that uh, as we go through this. Let's see what the chat's saying. Uh, chat's just saying what we're playing, a little bit of music, good stuff. And let me know what's going on with you as well. If you have this tool, let me know if you bought this tool already or you're just you're just searching for it or you don't know what it is. So and also right here, you can have a call to action after they watch it to have like a subscribe or click here, you know, a call to action right here. And then you can watch what they're doing. Are they watching the whole thing? What are they clicking on the page? All of those things. This comes all all on this one platform, all on this one platform. And look right here, integration with Countly, Intercom. LinkedIn, Slack, Zapier, and we're going to be talking about how we're going to be uh, doing a lot of those things. So right now, what is, what's the price on this thing? I don't even know. Single, two users, 200. Let's see what the, the deals are over here. I'm going to drop down. Two users, one user. Okay, so it would be around probably that one. 20. Embed 20, did it say embed 20 or embed 50? Embed 50, so you're probably hitting around the $99 a month. So it's a clipboard plus you're getting for 39 lifetime? Not bad, not bad. Okay, so um, let's, start, let's start building with this platform. So once you go to the dashboard over here, oh, I need to take off the, uh, the timer. Sorry, guys. 
timer is off. Now right here, this allows me to see my dashboard of what's going on with my activity, how many um, videos I've recorded, all of those different things. Tells me members, okay, nine recorded videos, that was me. Um, tells me how many of the recorded videos I did this month. So this is uh, the, you know, this is the menu on the left hand side. Videos shows me what I was doing. I was doing videos for, um, for Podium, uh, a couple things that I had an idea on Twitch for Twitch extensions. Um, build with me talking about that, sending some things and then also zoom conferencing, teaching someone how to use that. Now I can build out playlists over here, build out a playlist of, um, different videos if I wanted to. Analytics allows me to see the views. Again, I don't use this extensively. It tells me total watch time, average watch time, 57 seconds. Not horrible. Uh, video conferencing, all of that stuff. It makes sense. That was the longest video. It's the longest watch time. Um, and then here it allows you to have um, uh, a workplace for you to basically put uh, different videos, all those things. So if you have a team, you can do a lot of things here memberships here right here excuse me and then right here um we have uh integrations with all these other things let's see what we're going to do create professional videos for lasting expression slack videos to strengthen your intra team communication okay cool add zapier and start automating your workflow let's see what it says we're going to look at a couple of the different integrations with this. Okay. Do more with story press express. Okay. Let's see a couple triggers, new video uploaded or recorded instant form response. That might be good. New viewer. Okay, cool. So some cool integrations that you can probably send to Slack or wherever just to be notified when things are happening. I don't remember connecting it with Twitter, but that's whatever. Okay. And then this is good. Okay. So why do I even care about this? What would I do with this business? Well, a couple things. Say for instance, I'm going to, um, look at a certain company and I think I can help them. Okay. So, um, I can audit. Okay. So I'm going to say this auditing brands for uh, auditing brands, including website, security, um, plugins or features, etc. Okay. So let's, uh, let's talk about this. Let's go with one of, um, let's see on Twitter who we can talk to. Maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Same. Who can we talk to? Okay, let's see about Hacker Noon, right? Okay, let's see about Hacker Noon, which I actually like this uh, page a lot. Okay, so if we're looking at Hacker Noon, okay, blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's just make it easier. Okay. <sighs> let's do this. Um, what website should we do? What kind of, all right, let's go to YouTube. Let's, let's break this down. Let's break this down. Say for instance, I'm going to go after trying to work with a celebrity. Ah, okay. Let's, let, I haven't thought about Paris Hilton in years. Okay, let's see about Paris Hilton. Okay, Paris Hilton doing some great things on Instagram as always. How do we uh how would we start working with her? Okay. So, we've got to first bring value. Okay, what she's promoting, I'm seeing that. Okay, so right off the bat, 
I might say, okay, Paris Hilton, this is great. You're trying to do a lot of things. You're clicking over to um, your YouTube page without even getting any analytics. So you've already got this many people, uh, you know, looking at your stuff. This is great. Okay, wonderful stuff, right? But when you're clicking here, you're not seeing how many people could go to the bio. On top of which, when you're doing swipe up features or anything like that, okay, and these are just whatever. Yeah, I don't know what Paris Hilton's doing. But the point is, if I'm saying, hey, you could have a, um, a bit.ly link or something where you're tracking all of the analytics and then you can see what are people doing. Now you have something here on your YouTube page, but you're, you're not being able to track all of this, right? So you could say even right here, from the correlation here to here, you have a lot of fans, but because you're not doing anything yet, um, you're losing a lot of traction and you don't know um, what your fans are doing. Also, if you had a link, you could put a pixel there and re -re redirect them for ads. Now, again, that is something you might say to her uh, technical team or her marketing team that has that information. If you're trying to target the influencer directly, you might not want to, well, not might, you don't want to talk in those technical terms. You might just say, hey, listen, you're clicking from here to here. You don't know what your fans are doing. And wouldn't it be good to engage with your fans and then tell them what to do next? That's why what you need to do is, and that's what you're putting in your, your um, clipboard video. You're explaining to people from A to B, what are they missing out or what do they need to do, right? So I'm here, I'm trying to explain, okay, this is what you're doing right now. This isn't what's working. Also too, I might check out, okay, her website. Da, 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 website. And I might check, do I, first of all, is it secure having an HTTPS? Okay, so it is secure right there. Okay, that's good. She, this site is a Shopify site, right? So I know that because of the plugin. It's kind of bare. It looks like she has one pixel on it. So she's redirecting from there. Okay, I don't know what she wants them to do. Please visit Snap Widget to upgrade your widget or our help section for more help. Your widget needs to be upgraded. Okay, so look at this right here. I might send this to her team and be like, hey, I noticed there's a problem with your website right here. There's um, something's going on. You need to update that. Hey, just want to let you know what's going on. Now, why would I do that? Well, right there, I'm being helpful. And I'm also noticing something that her own team is not doing, which she's probably paying to keep this website. Most likely 99% she has someone. So right there, and then she's powered by privy. Okay. Um, you know, it, it's, I don't know. Welcome to Paris Club Paris. I don't know. I don't like that. I think there could be better things going on here a more compelling offer. It depends on what she wants, right? But I do know one thing is going on and that this site is not working. Now, another thing is I might also um, log in and get who I should talk to here. And because we're this deep into it, I might just do it right now. I might just talk to her. Um, let's see, let me build out now I'm using another tool, Synovio. Let's see, add a list. Let's just say Paris Hilton, website audit. I'll just say website, okay. Okay, let's see. Looking at my notifications, better payment system, many updating incoming, okay, whatever. Okay, cool. So I've got that Paris Hilton site. Right there, I see one name. Let's go grab the name. Paris Hilton contest. What? Contest? Save selected. Really? All right, let's see about this. Paris at parishilton.com. I'm going to go with find that lead. I'm going to just see if this name is um, validated. Before I go emailing some people. 
So again, I'm I'm using this in real time. This is going to be good. Bop, 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 bop. Um. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to create a video. And I'm going to let them know, like, love the site, love what you're doing. Notice there's an error with your site. Um, hope everything's well. If you ever need help with website development, just letting you know, that's what I do. So, okay. Uh, I got my thing right there. Let me go and um, let me quickly figure this out. Let me go in, log in, loading. Okay. Bringing in a couple things at a time. I'm going to do this one just so I can come back. Let's see right here. Also, too, I found an error uh, with with uh, the restream chat. It crashes way too often with that app. There's a side point. Search, full name. I'm going to say Paris. Domain. Paris Hilton website. Let me just pull back here. Going to uh, exit some of these. ParisHilton.com makes sense. She's probably using a Gmail that she probably just checks, um, or a lot of different sites or a lot of different domains. Search. Uh, not found. See. Um, oh, I need to. Let's do verify. Sorry, email verify. Uh, let's do Paris. It parishilton.com email not found hmm. info at it's really just contest see look at that one it's not even email not found so there I'm getting one save so I'm going to this site let's take a look contest added prospect not the greatest not really any verify anyone's the advanced verification algorithm so it's not looking great um and then the info is not there either. Um, it depends. It might be. Could be a totally different domain name that they're actually using. Let's see, contact us. Let's see about this. So now we're gonna check. I'm seeing what she does. A few months ago, Cosmopolitan. Hmm. Okay. Let's see about this. So she is active. She's retweeting, doing that kind of stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Paris Hilton contact. PR contact. Information. Excuse me. Let's 
really don't like using booking agent. Okay. I really don't like that. Just don't care. Contact info. Hilton Lifestyle Group. That's interesting. Hilton Lifestyle Group. Dot com. <laughs> See about this. Prospecting. Let me cut this out. Stop. Hmm. Hilton Prospecting Group. Let's do this over here. We're going to put this over here. Could just be a domain name, which is fine. What is this? From a realtor, retailer, contact. Please provide contact information. Hmm. <sighs> well, this is interesting. Authorized distributor credit card credit application. Selling channels. Interesting. Okay. Listen, watch Twitter, Facebook. Let's check something. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Here's Hilton. Hold on one second. So we're going to go to Instagram. We're, then we're going to find out our YouTube channel. Let's see about this. Oh, I should have responded. Too many messages. Let's see about this. Oh, it's on. Hmm, let's see about this. Probably auto bots that are just hitting me up. I knew it. I knew it. Ugh. It's not even doing anything with this page at all. Auto right there. It's just pinning. Back then, it's just auto putting stuff there. Not much. Uh, don't allow. I don't want push notifications here. I'm gonna go over here. Let's check this out. That's not there. Let's search. I'm gonna go to YouTube and then info. See what we can find there. Yeah, that was a Squarespace page. Okay. That's done. Go over here. Switching over. Okay, about. Let's go. This is not a robot. Submit. There we go. Hmm. Thank you. Management. That's interesting. It's not found anywhere else on the websites. <laughs> okay, we're going to go over here. Drop that down over there. I'm going to go to a different website. Not there, it's just a domain name, which is fine. But look at what we found here. All these things. Save. Select it. Go to list. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay, so give us a domain or a company name. We'll find the emails. 
Now let's see what we got here. Now help you with that. Copy. Let's put a drop down right there. Search. Nothing found. Let's verify some emails for a second, shall we? Postmaster. Bingo. Paris at. Interesting. Contest. Well, contest at Paris Hilton. Who's Amy? Put that there. Talent manager. Interesting, Amy. And we got you. Okay. Super interesting. Go ahead, Amy. Producer, talent, manager, owner. Paris Hilton Entertainment Vice President. Huh. Super interesting. And this is what happens when you can just look around on some on some YouTube clips. Okay, cool. So we're gonna be knocking this out. And we got Paris there too. Well, why not? Shouldn't we email all three? Okay, so this is what we do around here. Okay. Don't get crazy. We open another tab. Let's go here. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is super interesting. We're going to see what happens. But this is, I love detective work like this. I wonder if I could do that to Kim Kardashian. I might try to do that too. Let's see about that. No, no, one thing at a time, guys. Let's do it. All right, I might do it. Okay, let's see. Um... Mm -mm. Okay, so we got that. Prospect list. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So I got a couple names here. Copy. Let me go over here. Again, management, copy. And it looks like Paris's name is right there, too. Okay, copy. And now I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, hey. I'm just gonna say, hey, this is Doc Williams. With um, I'm just gonna say, hey, uh, to the management staff, to the management of Paris Hilton's Shopify page. My name is Doc Williams from Brand Factory Inc. I noticed there is an error with Paris's Shopify page on the lower 
on the lower on the bottom on the bottom of the page the widget needs to be updated I made a quick video showing the error on the site site thought you should know if you ever need anything I create custom funnels in branding for companies such as Vayner Media. What else do we do? Content for ESPN. Here is a link to my latest project with Vayner Media. Take care and have a great day. Doc. Okay. I like that. To the management of Paris Hilton's Shopify page. My name is Doc Williams from Brand Factory Inc. And I noticed that there is an error with Paris's Shopify page. On the bottom of the page, the widget needs to be updated. I made a quick video showing the error on the site. Thought you should know. If you ever need any, anything, I create... Who's talking to me? Uh, custom this, that, and the other. Here's the link of my latest project with VaynerMedia. Have a great day. And and worked with artists such as the skies from Sign to Rock Nation. Sign to Rock Nation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think Little Skies is still signed there. Okay. Break a label. Currently signed with All We Got Entertainment through Atlantic. I think that's not true. Yeah, I think Rock Nation, yeah. Now who's messaging me? Okay, so we got that. Someone's messaging me right now. Hold on before I Okay. Awesome, would you be okay to do it? Ninth? What's the ninth? Thursday? Time works for me. We warm up before that just to get to know each other. Can we do nine thirty AM? That is early. Sorry. 
9 o'clock. I'm really not trying to wake up at 9 o'clock. Okay. I think I like this. Okay, so here's the link. Okay, so here's the link to my latest project with VaynerMedia. Let's do this. And the thing is with, you go, make sure you don't have links where they have to click because um, you want to always make sure that people can click it because um, you never know where it's going to lead or there could be shady links. I learned that the hard way. Just make sure that, because when I used to pitch, I'd be like, click here. Well, if you don't know what that link might have or whatever, so just show them the link. So in YouTube links, uh, they're pretty universal. Um, Gary V content model 2.0. I'm going to do that one in the little, um, I'm going to do that and, uh, little skies okay, content model share Copy this. Pop. Let's do the one with uh, little skies. Let's do that. Let's do that, okay? I'm gonna try adding a little bit of music too. And just because I feel like without music, it sounds kind of dull. Let me know if you like music or you don't like music watching this stuff. All right, let's take a look at these videos. Search volume, poor competition. Well, wow. interesting. Okay. Say. Pitch to four services or pay or something. Website and brand creation. Cool. Try what? Then see, look at that. I did all that work. I guess it wasn't that much work. All right, so I gotta go back and see which one he did with, um, oh, I could have just done Machine Gun Kelly. I should have just done that, hold on. Machine Gun Kelly. One Room Media.
right. Let's see about this. Going with this. I don't know what the lag time is with this thing. Maybe because I'm doing too much. I'm streaming and doing too much. Cutting some stuff out. Trying to see what else things I need to cut out. Did I get it? Same thing. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Oh. Okay. Copy. Oh. All right. Okay, so to 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 the management team of so like, who who's talking to me right now? Let's do that. Uh, it's a little bit hard, hidden hard like that. To the management team of Paris Hilton's Shopify page. My name is Doc Williams from Brand Factory Inc. And I noticed there was an error with Paris Hilton and Shopify page. I made a quick uh, video showing the error on the site. Thought you should know. If you ever need anything, I create custom funnels and branding for companies such as VaynerMedia and work with such artists such as Little Skies signed to Rock Nation. Here's the link of my latest work with VaynerMedia. Take care and have a great day. Take care take care and and hope you all are safe. Timely. Right? Very nice. Okay, right there. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so we got that done. I think that's a very nice letter. Let's take a look. Okay. Let's take all this stuff. Copy. Please. Cut that. Drafts. I'm going to delete it just to make sure I don't do anything wrong with it. Probably just going to discard all drafts. No drafts. Probably don't need all those. Um, okay, so we've got this. We've got this queued up. Um. Next thing we're gonna do is create a video showing the problem. So let's turn all this stuff down. Um, gotta, we gotta exit this. Cause I think it's just way too much stuff happening. Okay. Okay, we got that going. Main site. Go to Paris Hilton site. Okay. 
Website. Yikes, spelled the website wrong. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use audio. Blue Yeti. No, Yeti Nano. One. Weak stuff. I mean, I'm not even going to select audio. Uh, whatever. Let's see. Okay. Ready? There. Application window. Paris Hilton. Share. Hello everyone, this is Doc Williams from Brand Factor Inc. I just wanted to send this quick video to show there is an error with Paris Hilton's site right here. Everything looks good except this section right here with the widget that needs to be updated. Thought you guys should know. So hope all is well. If you need any kind of help, either with branding or with website help, uh, that's what we do at brandfactorinc.com. So please let me know if we can help. If not, uh, hopefully your team can get this fixed and everything back and running in no time. Have a great day and take care and be safe. Okay, so we just made that, all right? We just made that for Paris. All right, so we have this. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so it actually recorded my voice pretty well. Thought it was pretty good. Um, embed, download, title. Let's see. Let's see about this. Paris Hilton, Shopify, site, widget, update. I'll say... Uh, update needed for widget okay there we go um that's good thumbnail i think the thumbnail is fine call to action i don't think we need one Link copy. Let's see about this. Why would you do that? I don't like how it's asking for... Come on, bro. Shady as a mug. Can you not ask for, I mean, that's, that's so stupid. Hold on. Let's see. Share. Let's do this. Oh, let me do it incognito.
wants to know your location. Why would you storage it? Get that out of here. Are you friggin' serious? Well, that's just shady as a mug. Does that do that on all of the pages? What I'm asking is, if I'm trying to send this to a client and I see all of this stuff, Talking about that, it's asking me for all this information. No, why would you let that happen? I might just do a YouTube clip. Tell you the truth. I don't like that. Let's see, Story Express, not a, whatever. Copy your own. I don't like that. I don't like that. That they're not. They're asking. If I was saying something like that, like what? No, I'm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna have to make it a, a. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I do not like that. The reason behind it is it, it seems shady already when you're trying to send a celebrity something and it's already asking your location. Show. No, thank you. No, thank you. Same. All right, let me download. Download the video. I just upload it to YouTube. Okay. This, let's rename it just because it has to do with optimizing for YouTube. I don't know if it's true, but I'll, I'll do it anyway until I hear it's not true. Paris Hilton website, website audit. There we go. Let's update it. Downloads. There we go. Next. Next, unlisted, next. Okay. Already created it. And the reason I'm doing it is just because, again, it's an easier way to say yes. And seeing three emails, or if they got a Gmail account, seeing already those widgets a lot easier. Okay, shop right there. Sha, not shop, share. Let's see what happens. Copy. There we go. There we go. 
this. Got to uh, where's my ugh, one? Hide. There we go. Cut this out. Website. Here's the video. There we go. Now let's see about bringing this over 10. I'm going to just bring it in real quick. Font size in style for Gmail. Uh, let's see if I can just, just want to see if it's the same thing. Cebu Planet, same thing. Okay. And just say, Correction. Quick correction needed for Paris's Shopify page. Now, the reason I'm doing this now, if you notice, why is it all lowercase? Because think about how you message someone, right? So if you're going to be doing something that is very formal, you're going to have capitals and everything. If you're doing lowercase, it's more likely that they're going to open it because it's going to be more towards a friend. You can go back and forth with this. Some think it's unprofessional. But if you look at all this other stuff, you can tell that it's auto-generated, right? Quick cor correction needed for Paris's, I'm going to capitalize it so they know, Shopify page. There you go. So quick. So I'm not being disrespectful by using the name right there. Quick correction needed for Paris's Shopify page. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Hilton back on. There you go. And if they have a Gmail account, like they can get all these great thumbnails too. I think it's fine. There we go. There we go. Right there. To the management team of Paris Hilton's the management team of Paris Hilton's Shopify page. Quick, yeah, quick correction. There's a quick correction needed for Paris's Shopify page. Right there. Not all capitals. All right, cool. Now let's drop in the team. It's 11 o'clock. When was awake anyway? 11. Uh, three hours back. Seven. It's not bad. There you go.
Quick correction needed for Paris's Shopify page. There we go. Let's see what happens. All right, we're going to see. Anyway. Okay, so why do we do this? Okay, you, you just saw a breakdown. That's a master class right there. So not only did we find Paris's real email address. Well, we'll find out later and we'll update it in this episode. But, like, you see the difference of, like, finding where it is, old social media accounts. A lot of people just keep their old accounts. It's pretty crazy. Um, but again, what we found was, um, so auditing brands, including websites. I mean, you just saw me do that, right? Also, you can do micro lessons for uh, coaching clients or um, brands Yeah. So micro lessons for coaching clients or brands. So say for instance, if I need something, I can actually cross things out, circle things and ask them, Hey, do this or that. That allows me to show my expertise, but right there scales, my consulting slash teaching rather than one-on-one -on -one time. And this is what I do. So a lot of times, instead of me having a meeting and saying like, hey, do this the next time or do this in real time, I'm sending them micro things to do and I'm showing them step by step. And then that allows me to scale what I'm doing because I'm doing asynchronous communication. I'm doing pre-recording or just, you know, recording um, to, to scale the operation. The other thing that you can be doing as well is you can be having a um, scaling their marketing um, operations by allowing, hey, you know what? If you create a library of very specific types of content or record yourself on you know, what people are doing, I can track the analytics and see, are people taking your advice? What are they doing? And then, so you, you can actually have the brand do a bunch of things, have a call to action, then you be the analytics person or be the content marketing person. So really you're being the, um, the CMO for hire, uh, for hire regarding, um, uh, what, what does dub call it? Hold on. Shout out to dub. Shout out to dub. I'm trying to see what they, I think they just call it a style of communication or whatever. CMO for hire for hire. Okay. So that's number one. Um, marketing funnel creator for hire analytics and framework. So if you have this platform, you can tell them like, hey, do X, Y, and Z. Create the library of content from brand or influencer plus execute funnel with highly personalized content and then test conversions and behavior of audience. I mean, you're right there, right? So right there, you can do three different business ideas um, with this, with this. Auditing brands, including website security plugins, um, offer, 
um, we call offer security website dev etc after you do the audit micro lessons for coaching clients or brands that allows you to scale uh, scale your consulting slash teaching rather than one-on-one -on -one work No alternative is showing your expertise instead of discovery calls. Right. So instead of, you know, everyone doing a, hey, I, I, I can do X, Y, and Z, um, or I need to jump on the phone. Okay. What are you dealing with? Okay. What's your problem? All right. Let me go and uh, try to handle that real quick. A lot easier, a lot easier of the audience. Okay, cool. I think that's pretty good. Let's see, put this over here. Put this over here. Okay. There we go. I like that. Okay, so I think that is about that does it. So let's put the AppSumo link. Postmaster. Amy, the name is misspelled. Hmm. Oh, she probably, you know what? Probably because you don't work there anymore. Probably. Okay. That's all right. Let's see, uh, clip clapboard. Lap board. Um, let's see, bookmark. There you go. Okay, so let's let's take this up. Look at this. Let's take this right here. All right, let's do this. Okay. All right, everyone. This is Doc Williams with Build With Me. And tonight we're going to be talking about a platform called Clapboard. Now, Clapboard allows you to create micro videos, edit on the fly, and overall allow you to have a better relationship with your target audience and potential uh, customers. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can create your own business in the next hour. And in this video, you actually see me actually pitching Paris Hilton and finding all the information from celebrities for you to go for, for the big dogs or whoever you wanna work with. It's all gonna be in this video, so come with me. Okay, everyone, again, welcome to tonight's episode. This is episode 21. Yes, this is episode 21. This is part of the 40-day series of quarantine where we're doing this every single night, building a different business for you. Tonight, we're gonna be talking about Clapboard. Now, Clapboard is a platform 
Let me scroll down to see what it is. It's a simple Google Chrome plugin to create great videos by recording your webcam or screen. Now tonight, what we were doing is become, uh, the idea was become the expert with micro lessons. The, so how do we start? We're using Clapboard Clips to teach people a new skill or to provide services for them. So what did we do tonight? Well, first we looked at how to use Clapboard and uh, use their platform. If you're new to this platform, several other companies use them, obviously Revlon, Best Buy, et cetera, et cetera. But the reason I like this is it's so simple. You turn on the camera, you get to either uh, circle, make quick videos, and then tell them, hey, take the next step, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, et cetera. That's already all done on Clapboard. I really, really like it. And it's a Google Chrome extension that you can just do. Now tonight, to show you what we could do, I did an experiment and I said, hey, what would I do? I would first pick business idea number one, auditing brands, including websites, uh, websites, right? So just as an idea, I got bored. I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at Paris Hilton's site. So we went to Paris, Paris Hilton's site um, and I thought it was going to be something, you know, something with pixels. We could talk about it. But what we noticed right here was at the bottom, your widget needs to be upgraded. Right, so I created a video real quick with uh, Clapboard and I sent it to her and her team about um, they should really do something with updating their, their widget. And if they need help, Brand Factory Inc's for you. Now, uh, I'll spare you the last hour trying to find her email address and going through that, but uh, we found it and we'll see. It will be reporting on in a later video what happens, but again, it's looking at the intention how you can help someone, right? I'm auditing their brand, not just because I'm like, hey, you need a we new website. I got um, someone on LinkedIn told me that the other day and I'm like, bro, I already have a website. I don't need one, right? But if someone told me, hey, something's broken on your site. Hey, this doesn't have a uh, HTTPS. You need to do something. I might listen to them a lot more because they're giving me value. So again, auditing and doing it in a very specific way and then showing them, hey, this is who I work with. Let me know if you need help. I think it's a great idea. The second one is creating micro lessons for coaching clients or brands. Now, that is showing an expertise. So I do that. I did that a lot when I first got started. I still do it with clients. But to get uh, the attention of people, I would make really high, highly specific walkthroughs that I showed that I knew what I was talking about. And I would just be like, Hey, here you go. Uh, if you need any help, let me know. That allows them to see that you're not just saying you need help with your marketing. You need help with your website. Have you done, have you thought about ads? Have you thought about click funnels? You're showing them very specifically that you know what you're talking about. You know what they're using. And then you're telling them, Hey, you can do this yourself or you can contract me. The third way is becoming the marketing funnel creator for hire. So that's like a CMO for hire. That's a marketing manager for hire. How can you do this? Well, using a platform like Clapboard, you can actually um, show them that, hey, we're going to create very stylized campaigns. We're going to have very specific types of videos. And I'm going to walk them through down a, uh, down a storyline. And I'm going to be able to change it based on all the different clips that we created. And as long as you take the time to record them, I will do all of the work. I will change the call to actions. I will do all that because the platform that I use, I will see the analytics and show you what they need to do next, right? So you're making it very easy for them to do one thing, one type of work, either record it long form or short form and long form, you chop it up and you create all these variations or you tell them to make a series of, you know, five to 10 different videos and then you plug them in. But you're the one who's doing the execution, copywriting, sending those things out, and also showing the analytics. Now, again, you can, of course, parse that up. You don't have to do everything. But if you want to be the marketing funnel creator or guru, uh, you've got to be good at all those different facets. So how do you get started? What was the question? How do we do this? So use Clapboard Clips to teach people. I, again can use Clapboard if I want to audit, if I want to teach someone a very specific skill, or if I want to show them the bigger picture or what they could do if they had a personalized brand and had multiple shorter videos that had them talking to their audience, what it could do for their impact. So that's what I would do for your assignment. I would pick one type of business idea that resonates with you. If you like auditing, if you find that very easy, maybe you should start with auditing. 
If you're really good at teaching, maybe you should start there. Or if you like creating marketing funnels and being the go-to guy or person, you might wanna try that as well. So again, guys, tonight we reviewed Clapboard. It is live right now on AppSumo.com for $39. The plan that they have, it usually is $99. They're doing a lifetime deal for $39 where you can have uh, record and send 200 videos a month. You can have two users under your account and embed 50 videos. Uh, if you're looking for something to dabble in and to just test and to see um, if people resonate with your voice, with your type of branding, this is a really good platform to start. So again, guys, leave your comments in the uh, in the comment section below. Let me know what you're working on, what you're building. And tomorrow we'll be back with a totally different build and we'll see you then.